Hello, today we're going to disassemble Dell Inspiron 3000 series laptop. It's a new model, so let's get started. First, of course, we have to take out the battery. After that, we're going to remove the back cover here. We just have to slide it back and it opens very easy. Then we have to remove the hard drive and the optical drive. Just slide it back. The optical drive should be with one screw here, I think. Yep. Like this. Uh, we're gonna disconnect the Wi Fi. I don't think we have to. Oh no, we have to remove it, sorry, because it's uh, held on the plastic. So, remove the Wi Fi. After that, I'm gonna remove all the back screws. They should be the same size. You shouldn't be worried. After removing the screws, we'll flip the laptop around. We have to remove the keyboard. Underneath the keyboard, there should be a couple more screws. And after that, the laptop should be open very easy. Uh, I think we have a broken hinge in here. Yep. Okay. So let's check. I think we remove everything. So we're gonna flip the laptop. Open it. And we have to remove the keyboard. Use something sharp. And just unlock it. It's quite easy to remove this keyboard like this. After removing the keyboard, we have to remove the screws here. We're gonna disconnect the power button and the touchpad. And we're gonna start separating both plastics. I think that's it. So next thing is to disconnect the power button and the touchpad. Now we have to separate both sides, so we'll put the laptop like this and start separating Just be careful because with the time the plastic uh, becomes very fragile and you can break something after that just push on the sides like this take your time don't rush Next thing is lift it up gently. Yeah, the broken hinge is making the problems now.
I have to flip it around to see where exactly is the problem. Yep. It's underneath the battery. So let's see. Yep. Just push the plastic. This, sorry, and the plastic is out. The next thing we have to disconnect the cable for the side USBs. We have to remove the connector for the optical drive. Just slide it a little bit and remove it, disconnect the power cable like this, always check the hinges because with the time they are getting loose and this is making problems, disconnect the display cable like this and disconnect the speakers after that just remove the screws on the board they are marked with a white triangle so it will be easy after that to put them back on place uh, we have to remove the battery connector also because it's not held on the board just lift it up like this and gently remove it then just lift the board up let me find something to put it on yep like this disconnect the fan and remove the screws which are holding the cooler slide it a little bit left to right and just remove it now let's see what's inside because this laptop hasn't been open for last I think three years Just remove the rubber here. Hmm, it's quite clean inside. That's weird. But anyway, the next thing, of course, we have to clean the the VGA chip and the CPU. The CPU is soldered on the board so it cannot be replaced. Clean the old thermal paste from the heat pipe. Be careful with the rubber pots because they are very you know, very important. If, if you have the same size it's a good idea to change them because with the time they are you know, changing their abilities. Don't put thermal paste and replace them because the gap between the chips and the cool and the cooler is different, and it will be have it will have a negative, uh, you know, it won't do any good to the computer. It will start overheating the chips because 
they won't cool properly so basically that's the whole procedure right now I'm gonna clean everything I'm gonna change the thermal paste and reassemble everything on the reverse hope you like the video bye bye for now